A cluster of water molecules holds energy that has the potential for them to move, which we call potential energy. When referring to a specific sample of water and the energy within it that has the potential to move, we call this water potential. This is important when trying to quantify how and why water moves from one place to another and compare water of different systems. Water potential is represented by the symbol psi and is measured in pascals, which are usually kilopascals. Measurements of water potential are all relative to a standard set by pure water at standard atmospheric pressure, which is 1 atmosphere or 101.325 kilopascals, at 20 degrees Celsius. The water potential at these variables is zero and is what all other water potential values are compared to. When we are talking about water potential values and the movement of water, you need to know that water will always move from a higher potential to a lower potential. So, for example, if there were two water potentials on either side of a membrane, one that was 50 kilopascals and one that was 25 kilopascals, water will move from 50 to the 25 until the potentials even out. This will minimize the total potential energy which is a driving force behind the movement. When specifically looking at water potentials within cells, they are usually in the negatives. Because that is the case, water will move from the less negative number to the more negative number, like from negative 100 to negative 150 kilopascals, which is from a higher potential to a lower potential. Water potential within cells can be calculated by the following equation. Water potential is equal to solute potential plus pressure potential. This is the case because solute potential and pressure potential are the two factors that can vary enough to have an impact on water potential within living systems. And as we stated on the last slide, overall water potentials within cells are usually negative. This is because the highest solute potential that water can have is zero. And zero would mean that there are no solutes present and it is just pure water. When solutes are added to water, it decreases the potential driving it into the negatives. This, pretty much always, negative solute potential number is added to the pressure potential. Pressure potential is based on the hydrostatic pressure of water, which is the external force or pressure exerted on the water, like the pressure of atmospheric gases. This number can either be positive or negative based on the environment, and a higher hydrostatic pressure leads to a higher potential pressure, and vice versa. Pressure potentials of water are usually positive inside of cells. Although there are some examples where they are negative, like within xylem vessels where sap is being transported under tension via the process of transpiration, which is discussed in greater detail in the A1.1 video. We can explain the movement of water from cells within hypertonic and hypotonic solutions by using the concept of solute potential and pressure potential. And because we have those, we can use water potential, which is the sum of the two. And for this example, we will focus on plant cells, as they have different pressure exerted upon them by their internal water vacuoles, which are supported by their cell walls. Let's start with a plant cell in a hypotonic solution. If the solution is hypotonic to the cell, we know that it has a small concentration of solute relative to the cytoplasm of the cell. Let's say as an example with made up numbers that the solution has a water potential of negative 1,267 kilopascals and the plant cell has a water potential of negative 5,045 kilopascals. Water moves from higher potential to lower potential, so it will move into the cell because the cell is more negative, making the potential lower than the outside. When this happens and water moves in, it will dilute the internal solute, which increases the solute potential, making it less negative in this case, and increases the pressure potential because more molecules now exist in roughly the same amount of space. With both numbers increasing, we can say that the sum total of water potential increases when a plant is bathed in a hypotonic solution. Now we can flip the script on the next example and make the solution hypertonic. This means that there is a higher solute concentration within the solution compared to the internal cytoplasm of the cell. Using more fictional numbers as an example, let's say the solution has a water potential of negative 7,540 kilopascals, and the plant cell has the same water potential of negative 5,045 kilopascals. This will force water to move out of the cell from a high water potential to a low one. In this process, the solute potential inside of the cell will decrease, becoming more negative, 
and the pressure will also decrease because it is losing water. This can greatly decrease the volume of the cell so much so that the membrane can break away from the cell wall and shrink into a plasmalized state. At this point, the plant is flaccid and wilted. In either case, water will continue to move until the water potential inside of the cell equals the water potential outside of the cell.